Sorry, I've been talking that entire time, and I didn't realize I was muted. But good to see everyone. Very impromptu stream. Yes, I fixed it. So apparently, there's a there's a hearing in Darrell in, involving Darrell Brooks. He was in court yesterday on some other charges in front of a different judge. So I'm thinking that's related to this here and today. I'm not sure. Hey, Mo Army. Hey, Gary. Payson. Jack Gunner. Lurker1, good to see you all. This is probably going to be a very quick stream. Yeah, I'm not sure what these separate charges he he's facing are when the unrelated to the parade trial. Yesterday, when he was in court in front of the new judge, he was strapped down in a wheelchair. Hey, Jesse. Good to see you. Happy Friday, everyone. So yeah, I only got notified about this about 10 minutes ago, so I basically just scrambled to put this stream together, which is why I'm so disorganized right now, which is why my mic was muted and I didn't even realize it. Yeah, exactly, Raven Wink. Like, he's in prison for the rest of his life, so, I mean, I get justice for other victims of his, but, you know, doing all these hearings and trials for other charges just seems like a waste of time to me. But at, at the same time, I do understand why they're doing it. So yeah, this is scheduled to begin at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, which is right now. I'm sure there will be some type of delay. Yeah, I hope everyone is having a great Friday. Hope, Hopefully you checked out my video that I posted earlier. Oh, yeah, that look on his face was awesome. Hey, Roland, I'm doing good. How are you? Hey, Binary, good to see you as well. So, yeah, yesterday's here, and he, he was strapped into a wheelchair, which either means they just did it for everyone's safety or he wasn't being compliant with the prison guards. So it'll be interesting to see what's happening today. I wonder if I wonder if he's trying to fire his lawyers in the, in these separate charges. Because yesterday I thought I heard nothing was scheduled for books until February. So yeah, this is really interesting to me. Still no, no video yet of the courtroom. We're all just waiting. And still no news on that copyright claim that I received for streaming the sentence in the other day. Yeah, that was a weird copyright claim. They claimed four minutes out of a six-hour stream. And, and a claim isn't a strike, but it's still messed up. So, I mean, so I appealed it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They'll, they'll deny the appeal. Yeah, it was just very bizarre to me that they they claimed four minutes out of a six-hour stream. 
They, they have about 29 more days left to respond to my appeal. And if they don't, YouTube automatically revokes the copyright claim. That's true, Lurker One. It could be concerned with a nothing to lose mentality. Still nothing yet on the live. I have two different streams I'm still on either stream. But yeah, he's facing charges in Milwaukee for something else, but I haven't seen what those other charges are yet. Hopefully everyone's having a great Friday. Sorry if I missed anyone in chat. Yeah, Chile and his copyright strikes. I mean, I don't make, I think I only have done one or two videos on Chile. I mean, he is, the dude's an ass in my opinion. It's not worth talking about him much. Hey, Enzo the God, good to see you. Hope you're well. So now I'm seeing on a news feed that there's no word on when this is actually going to start, even though people scheduled it on YouTube for 3 o'clock. So it's a bit of a waiting game, I guess. All we know for sure is that this is a motions hearing. Hey, Beaver, good to see you. Hey, Rod Fuller, great to see you as well. Hope you are doing good, my friend. The weather here where I am in Massachusetts has been so bizarre. The other day, it was raining, snowing, and sleeting all at the same time. Today, let me check. What's the weather like? What's the temperature out there today? Haven't been outside. Where I am, it's currently 43 degrees. Hey, ball, baller up. Great to see you. I agree with that, Roland, for sure. Yep, no problem, my friend. I had no idea that there was, well, I knew there was a hearing, but I didn't know it was going to be streamed yesterday, which is why I didn't stream it. And then I saw this one today, about 10 minutes before it started, before it was scheduled to start. So I just scrambled and put this stream together at the last minute definitely was not planning on streaming today though but still it's great to hang out with all of you hey az the kid hope you're doing well oh yeah i'm approximately without being too specific about 40 minutes from 40 45 minutes from boston He probably wanted to address subject matter jurisdiction. 
<laughs> yeah, so far, I mean, yesterday with this new judge, he didn't try any of that crap. Although that's because he also had lawyers representing him. So I am curious if this hearing, if he's trying to fire his lawyers, maybe I'm probably wrong, but just a possibility. You never know. Brooks is unpredictable, as we all know. Is this one involving the assault on his ex-girlfriend? If you're talking about Erica Patterson, one of his exes, then that was taken care of at the other trial that he was just sentenced on. But if you're talking about somebody else, I have no idea. I mean, that could be a possibility. I'm just guessing. Fifty-four degrees in North Georgia. I'm loving it. Hey, Darkly Noon. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Still nothing. I hate when something's scheduled to start at a specific time, and then it doesn't. Just a little pet peeve. It's 24 degrees and snowing in Chicago. We only had a little bit. It's nothing that would stick to the ground, but we have already seen some snow, like I was saying earlier. Hell, Buffalo today, man. They're getting, what, six feet? That is completely insane. They have to move the Buffalo Bills game to Detroit because there was too much snow. I agree with that. His face is just evil. 100% agree. Yeah, I want to doubt it, Kathy. Probably. I think they started late yesterday as well. It was because of him, I believe. Just trying to find out info on what this hearing is about, but I can't seem to find any. So, now I'm not sure about this, but this here may be regarding the conviction that he just had got. Supposedly, I'm not sure if this is true or not. This is from a news reporter. It's expected Brooks will ask the court to stay his sentences as he appeals. That's one thing I'm reading online right now so yeah this is going to be interesting i agree with that roland here yeah, and i'll link to what i just read just you know to be transparent I'll leave a link to what I just read in the chat. Still waiting. About 12 minutes late now. So yeah, in the meantime, how's everyone doing? What's up with all of you? Any good any plans for the weekend? 
Hey, USA. Great to see you. Yeah, I agree. With, I agree, Payson. But, you know, he's going to use everything he can to just make, to give himself attention, basically. That's all he wants is attention. That sounds fun. Here, we usually don't put up our tree and lights till the day after Thanksgiving. Yep, I saw that, and that was a beautiful sight to see. Hang on. I think we started, and there's... Hang on. We'll start from the beginning because apparently they just started. Let me bring up the screen. Uh, on the fifth, a motion for a stay pending appeal. And you may or may not recall, but when the state asked me to consider that at the conclusion of Wednesday's hearing, uh, I indicated I would wait until all of the judgment of convictions had been signed and then schedule a hearing. I have signed the judgments of conviction and uh, because of some of the procedural, if you want to call it that, things that have happened. I know you were taken to Milwaukee for uh, what was supposed to be a jury status hearing on two matters. Um, I thought perhaps they would keep you there, but it's my understanding all of those dates were adjourned. Uh, and so you were brought back to the Waukesha County Jail. Um, and so, since yes, that is a here, wrestling belt behind me this for that motion hearing, uh, in order to address that, I can see very plainly, you don't have any of the documentation, um, in, in an effort to be fully transparent with you, um, that one piece of paper apparently did not get scanned into the electronic file. And we're having some trouble finding the paper copy. Um, at the moment, and so I, I don't even have it in front of me. Clearly. Hopefully you all you can hear it. You should be able to. I, I believe we gave you a copy of all of, you gave us three inmate communication forms together. Do you remember that on the 15th? Um, I don't recall giving any uh, ICFs. I recall um, submitting the, the notice of right to appeal. So there were, I recall it being three inmate communication forms, but I, I thought they were brought into court. I could be mistaken on that. That was my um, one, at least it was received by us on the 15th. One requested a certified copy of the record and waiving fees, another, Really? That's their stream completely. Hang on, let me see if I can find <clears throat> another stream. All right, found this one. Hang on.
large auditing process hasn't been picked up yet. We feel it's around, we just need to file it or find it. Um, so if need be, I can simply reschedule this for a time when you have it in front of you, when the state has it and when I have it in front. Um, but that was my hope to address it today. If you wanted to address it orally, I could do that as well. No, I, I would rather, um, all, all the paperwork is, was all in my legal work, which obviously right now I'm, I'm not allowed to have. So uh, that would still be in your cell. No, they took everything out of my cell. I have, I'm not allowed to have anything in my cell. No, paperwork, it's a motion no here no, to stay his no hygiene, sentence. Anything. Um, Do you believe if given access to it, you would be able to identify and find the yep. white piece of paper that I'm talking about? Um, it, was that the, the actual motion? I believe piece? it was a motion for stay pending appeal. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. If, I don't see the, the thing, just so the court is aware, Your Honor. Um, when they strip your cell, because I had so much uh, legal work, they kind of just put them in like boxes. And I don't, I'm not sure where they take them. I don't know if they take them to property or I don't know if they keep them close. That part, I don't know, but they kind of just put everything together. So I would need some time to actually shift through to see what's in the place. If, if that I, helps. I totally understand. I'm gonna, I'll be in communication with the jail officials and let them know I need you to have access to the legal documents that were taken it's from too far to see. So I can't can really tell if it's a bulletproof vest or with the court a suicide in the event vest. we're not able to find it. I apologize for that. If you were to see everything that I normally have up here and certainly at the conclusion of a month long trial, I have a lot of paperwork. Yes. Um, I'm still looking through my notes. I haven't found it yet. Again, I think it's just because we're under the gun to find it. We're not finding it. And what I'll do is I will just simply um, reschedule this. Um, what it may mean, though, is it will be after you are transferred to. Uh, yes, God, he is the And then I'll have you appear by video for that. Uh, I do. Uh, that is true. I actually, as soon as. Obviously, all this took place as soon hey, as I walked out of court, I went right into this. Good to see you. I had been asking them for the last two days about, about the legal work because I knew this was going to come up at some point. I'm like, can I at least just have access to my legal paperwork? I'm not asking for anything else, just that part of it. And I, it's kind of just like the whole runaround thing. Like, I don't know if- I, I they... will be in communication with them. I obviously don't know all of their procedures and protocols and I want to be mindful. If they put you on a suicide watch, they do that for a reason, but if need be, I will require them to give you access so we can find this piece of paper and have it refiled with the court. Um, and then once that happens, I'll schedule it for a hearing, um, but it won't be next week. It might not be till the week after just because of some time that I have off and needing to um, make sure everyone has copies of it. it just so the, um, you, you, the record's clear too, Your Honor. It, they said this was procedural protocol. It wasn't because I demonstrated any suicidal behaviors or even said it. I was told it was just protocol. So it wasn't because I said anything or exhibited any behaviors that would make them think I was suicidal in any way. I was told it was just Protocol. Understood. All right. So um, I'm not going to hold up any transport because of this motion. It's a motion that can be addressed with you appearing by video. It's a procedural motion. Um, and uh, obviously, if I were to grant any of the relief that you seek, that yeah, it kind of does. You're being housed, <laughs> but that's a little speculative at this point in time. Uh, but just so you know, it might not be scheduled for a couple of weeks. Uh, we need to locate it. Is there any uh, additional paperwork that I may need to file in, in regards to that or? Well, I can't give you legal advice, sir. I'm not asking that, um, I'm just saying, is it? The, hold on. Obviously, at I'm the not... end of the hearing the other day, the court provided you with uh, the written explanation of 
life sentence written explanation of determinant sentence, and then the notice of right to seek post conviction relief. Um, and actually you acknowledged that, you indicated you plan to seek post-conviction relief, you dated it, um, and that is on file. Um, I'm sure what we will do is forward that to the public defender's office. That's typical uh, when there's been a conviction and someone's in custody to see if you qualify, which presumably you would for public defender representation. What you do with that is up to you, but that's typically the process you, um, and I'm sure they'll be in touch with you about that. Will I be able to um, have access to the paperwork that you just referred to that, not the appeal part, but the other paperwork that you referred to? The motion that you filed? No, the um, something you said you provided. The written explanation of. Yeah, all that, all that paperwork. Would I be able to have access to that? It's obviously when, when it was um, given. He's doing right anything. Everything had wrapped he up. He can uh, Wednesday to get attention. As soon as I this is all day, just a waste of time, in my opinion. I'll indicate to uh, the jail administrator that the the tw it's 20 pages in total, the uh, at least labeled in our file as written explanation of determinate sentence, but there's 20 pages because of the number of counts involved. Yeah, she probably did. That, uh, and of course, he's going to appeal, uh, and you see appeals as much as he can. Appeal However, it's phrased will be provided to you. Um, and if you even want the copy of the notice of right to seek post conviction relief, um, you should have received a copy back, but um, I'll indicate that should be provided to you as well. Okay. And actually, Judge, I think um, if we're going to reschedule this at a time when he's in the prison, we may encounter the same problem that he may not get immediate access to his paperwork so we may want to take that into account when we schedule okay yeah uh, attorney I agree is right about that uh, um, from my understanding I was told you have to go through a, a intake process when you're not don't have access to certain things I, I guess I won't know for sure until I actually and I'm actually there but uh, my understanding that is the, the process why don't I do this? Um, once we get the paperwork that we Saying Kathy, in your the Judge Darrell was office, excellent throughout um, the trial. Where it is, um, and I'm able to set the motion. I'll make sure that when just we do, send the notice. He has the right to appeal, but documents it's going to get laughed at. And sent with it. it would be my hope and expectation. Hey, that Patricia, to good to see you. It's being sent from the court. And then we'll go from there. And if I'm if I'm not in uh, possession of anything, should I just let you know that I, if there's anything that I may be missing at the time of the hearing, would would it be okay to let you know what I have and don't have? I think that would be fair. Yes. Thank you. As you consider um, the issue, which is a motion for state pending appeal, I would direct your attention to Wisconsin State Statute 808.07. Um, and there's case law that supports that, but it's the factors the court must consider for a motion for state pending appeal. 808.07. 808.07? Yes. <laughs> I'd be able to look that up considering I'll, that I'll I don't have sure. anything right now. I'll include that in the cover letter. He is so ridiculous. Do you want the pro se manual on appeals? Yes. We'll send you that too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Attorney Opera, then anything else? Are you satisfied with the procedure I've outlined here today? I am, Judge. I just wanted the record to reflect we did comply with victim rights notification. I do have a copy of the motion. I agree with the court's recollection. It was written on a plain piece of paper and it was formatted uh, like a motion typically would with the caption and the heading of the motion. Um, as you know, I'm not in the office today, but when I return on Monday, I'm certain I can put my hands on my copy and provide that to the court and Mr. Brooks if that is necessary. All right, thank you. I would appreciate that. All right, anything else from you, sir? Uh, no, that's 
All right, my apologies for misplacing yeah, kinda, the form. I was kind of shocked. I was just like, <laughs> but cool, huh? that's okay. I wanted to try to address an issue that you raised, but okay. as you I, can I see, I would have hoped to have been prepared because when they said you have court, I'm like, I have no. I have nothing. I was just going into right. with nothing. Now you know what it's about. We'll make sure we get some documentation to you. And uh, once we locate that, we'll have it scheduled. And I'll have my clerk contact uh, the receiving institution to find out the best timing for all of that and to make sure that whatever paperwork the court sends to you, you actually receive. All right. All right. No new dates then at this time. Um, but that motion will be scheduled as soon as possible. All right, thank you, sir. That concludes the hearing. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Judge. You're welcome. All right, so that basically does it for this hearing. Basically, we're going to just reschedule it. Just trying to get the sentence stayed. Pretty much that's the reason for the hearing. Pretty standard today. He actually behaved himself, didn't have any random outbursts, which is good. Did it ask about subject matter jurisdiction? Exactly, sorry. He's just happy to be out of his prison cell. Yeah, we all know this is going to go absolutely nowhere in the end. They just have to do this to protect his rights. So yeah, I think that's basically going to do it. Didn't plan on streaming today, so I don't have anything else planned, but it was good. Good to see, it's good to be here with you all, rather. Just going through the chat, making sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, it's, it's not happening. His motion at some point it's gonna get denied. Like all of it, like ninety nine percent of his other motions. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today. I don't think I'm gonna have any videos up this weekend, but if you haven't already checked it out, I did post a new video earlier today. I might be streaming on my gaming channel later tonight and during the weekend, so check that out. And yeah, thank you all for being here. Thank you to my members, as always, for all of your support. And as always, I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, everyone.